Travis. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Good, good. Good, good. Um, you know, it was good again to get back on the grass with the players and pads and I think the guys are working extremely hard. Um, I think we're growing, you know, across our football team. Uh, it's good to see the offense do some things. It's good to see the, the defense fight back. Um, you know, we're just trying to still put it all together. But I think we're a team that's growing and getting better each and every day. I uh, don't like the turnovers. Uh, we had a, a couple costly ones and some drills. Um, it's good that the defense are getting them and uh, the offense, we got to protect the ball a little better. But I think overall, I think we're making progress. You know, we still have a long ways to go. But again, um, you probably hear me say this every day. We're just going to keep our heads down, and keep grinding through. And uh, every night, the guys, uh, they come in and watch the tape. And they've done a good job. Now, obviously, tonight they have an opportunity to be off. That's mandated by the league. You know, so many days they get. So we'll have a great meeting with them uh, tonight. And then we'll send them on their way. And we will advise them to make sure they take care of themselves uh, because they're, they're all important to our football team to make it back and be ready to go uh, when we start back up on Thursday. A lot of hitting today. You like the way your players are responding to this? Oh, I do. I do. And, um, you know, I, I said this would be a physical camp. And uh, it has been, and I think our guys are getting better and getting the hang of it, you know. And there'll be a time at some point where I think, you know, we, we've had enough of that, you know. But we, I need to find out about our team, and I'm finding out, and I'm um, finding out some good things, and I'm finding out some things we need to improve at. But uh, that's just part of it right now. Hugh, when you go siren early like you did today, do you feel like that kind of ratchets up the intensity for the rest of the practice? I think it does. I think you know, obviously, I, I, I noticed a little. We were a little dull. You know, so I wanted to get our football team going. That's one way to do it, you know, just go play football. And I think the guys appreciate it because I think the energy within practice started to change a little bit. And, uh, again, when the offense is moving like that, you know, that's what I anticipate, what I expect. But also expect our defense to slow us down, you know, to get things stopped and, and make some plays. And that's just competition, you know. And we're competing, you know, amongst each other. And like I told both sides of the ball, we don't play each other. There's some other teams we play, so we need to be smart as we compete, but at the same time, we have to run into each other a little bit to continue to get better. Hugh, can you talk about, um, you know, we saw Ken Irving leave the goal line mm -hmm. drill, and he had the forearm wrapped for a while. Right. Can you tell us kind of No, he'll be fine. I think, you know, he's just got a, I will call it a ding. I don't think it's anything uh, serious, but it, obviously we'll check it out and see where he is. But uh, I think he'll be fine, and he's really important to, to what we do on offense. How's it been doing? He's been doing outstanding. I, I've been very, very impressed with Cam. You know, I, I think we got a group up front, you know, led by Joe that's starting to really grow and become and start to have an identity of what, you know, it takes to play in the National Football League. And I think we'll keep growing and keep pushing. And they follow the league of Joe and, and Joe Batonio and Cam. I think we got a chance to be a, a, a good offensive line. The Hawks also had, a, I think, a wraparound Yeah. These hamstrings this time of year, you know, again, it's, it's unfortunate, but I think he'll be okay. I don't know how bad it is, but it is a hamstring. And uh, we'll, we'll handle that accordingly and get him back out there as soon as we can. Hugh, are you, are you just a, a shotgun guy or does it depend on the personnel at the quarterback? It, it depends on personnel. You know, we, we are, you know, we do a little bit of both, you know, but again, I think um, we do what we feel we need to do to win, you know, whether it's planning shotgun, playing on the center. You know, we'll do anything and everything if it, if it can matriculate the ball down the field. I wondered if you thought the league is just that kind of league now. No, I mean, it, it's, I know everybody thinks it's growing that way just because of the pass. But I think at the same time, I think the real good football teams can still line up, put the quarterback under center and turn around and hand it off or drop back and throw it. So, you know, we hope to be able to do a lot of different things as we continue to move forward. But we just, you know, we're taking steps, you know, every day and, and really, learning how to do what we think uh, we need to be doing to, to win football games. When a guy like Art Bryles is here, do you take a chance to sit down and talk offense with him, or are you pretty well drawing all the, all the stuff you want? Hey, I, I will learn from anybody if they can help us. But no, he uh, obviously he has some um, players on our football team that's here. I think he's making his rounds to see his guys. I know, I know he was in Cincinnati yesterday. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I had to say that. <laughs> so he was in, uh, I know that for sure. So I think... Obviously, he's a, a very accomplished college coach and has, has done outstanding, and I wish him well. I mean, he's, he's done just outstanding at Baylor. And, uh, but at the same time, I think he was here to see his guys and get opportunity to, to see us, you know, our organization and, and what we do. 
but more so see his football players. Q, you mentioned that there's some things that you like, there's some things that, that you'd like to see your team clean up. I know it's early in camp, but mm -hmm. maybe what are one or two of those things that you really put a premium on that you'd like to see when you come back out here again on Thursday? Can't turn the ball over, ever. Can't put the ball on the ground. And uh, the defense got to get more. You know, we got to take the ball away from the offense. And it's just that simple. I mean, those are the two major things in the National Football League. If you can do those, you stand a good chance of winning. And I know on offense, we got to always protect our quarterback. I mean, our quarterback does not get hit. And we know at some point in time he will. But at the same time, I really expect our offense to take pride in protecting our quarterback. And so and I, I expect our defense to take pride in going to hit the quarterback. So those are the things we got to continue to grow at and keep getting better at. And then as a staff, just keep putting players in position to succeed, you know? Find out what they do really well and, and start playing to that as we go and really evaluate our team for what we really are, not what we hope they are, but what they really are and, and keep getting better. Dude, what is the thinking when you went to the live period, you went number one offense against not the number one defense, mm -hmm. and the number one defense against the number mm -hmm. two offense? Well, I think, you know, it's a chance. I, you know, you you have a lot of really good players in one setting. So if something happens, I don't want to wipe off half the team. You know, so uh, I just think it's, I'm trying to play the percentages, you know, the best I can, but also trying to get our team better. So that's a good question. But no, I I just think that's the way I want to do it right now. We did do some one on you know live ones versus ones in the third down situation, you know. But again, I try to stray as far away from that a lot, just because again. Uh, I, again, my my goal is and my job is to make sure I'm protecting our team on both sides of the ball, not just offense and not just defense and not just special teams, but this whole team, and that's that's my goal. Does Mr. Bailey have that right tackle job like that? No, 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 he doesn't. Where, um, no, he doesn't. Coleman, who's pressing him, or, or where? It, yeah, well, I don't know. I couldn't tell you that. Somebody's going to press everybody. You know, I just we're going to play the best guys. You know, and I just. I don't, and a lot of people don't have anything locked up. I'm, I'm finding we're mixing, matching, and watching, and evaluating as we go. But we all need to continue to get better. You know, uh, we're in this thing to win. Period. See, we talked about RG3 a lot from his arms and legs standpoint. Um, where is he intangible wise, and what are you looking for? You, you have to lead. You know, I, I said a long time ago that position got to wear a lot of different hats, and uh, it's not just you know throwing the ball straight. Obviously, that's a uh, real important uh, quality a guy has to have, but he also has to be able to uplift his teammates and have his teammates come follow him. Um, and he's improved by leaps and bounds. I think you guys can see it, and he's growing. I think a lot of our guys are growing at a lot of different positions, not just him, but I think he's getting better. And um, a, a lot of him getting better has to do with Josh McCown. Josh McCown has really done a great job of, of spending time with him and mentoring him and helping him to understand to try to make the biggest jump as he can. And our quarterback room is a special place right now. So I like all our guys in there. They're working extremely hard. And um, I hope they continue to get better. Would you say that the mentorship, um, mentorship factor that Josh McCown brings, if he doesn't win the starting job, is it, would that go a long way towards helping him remain on this team, what he can do for RG3 yeah. and everybody else? I, I mean, my honest opinion, that has nothing to do with him remaining on the team. You know, that would be an organizational decision about all of our quarterbacks. But at the same time, Josh McCown is very important to me, you know, just because here's a guy that has a lot of skins on the wall. And he's done a lot of great things in this league and understands it. But, I mean, I think we know how this, how all of this goes. Uh, this is not just about who you like, you know, it's about what's best for organization. And he's done a tremendous job and what a good football player. So. It's just, it's, it's, I'm really grateful to have him here and be around him. And I think all the quarterbacks are too because he's, he's been outstanding. You know, this question isn't specific to RG3, but when you're, <laughs> but, uh, it, when you're the quarterback of a team that 